Howdy, this is Sadie the Piper Man, Piper the Sailor Man, coming to you today. I want to introduce you, maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. Of uh, They sent me uh, two free pipe tobacco blends to try. And they sent me this one called Crazy Jones Beyond Brave. It's a pipe tobacco. Crazy Jones is American aromatic pipe tobacco. In it, it says Casey Jones, locomotive engineer, a tribute to an American legend. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking to myself, an American legend? How come I don't know about him? So, I began to do a little research. Who is this Casey Jones? Who is a locomotive engineer? Why is he a legend? And I came up with this and I want to share it with you. Am I, am I on? Yeah, I am on. Okay, here you go. Casey Jones, the legendary railroad engineer. But to be quite honest, I never knew the details of his heroic demise until Tim Wilshire made a visit to a museum in a town where he used to live, Jackson. In fact, here's what Ken discovered about America's most famous railroad engineer. Over 200 miles away and over 100 years ago, the legend of a true American hero began on an engine much like this. And now it's being preserved here in Jackson, Tennessee. It's the new Casey Jones Museum. And it's certainly a fitting memorial for honoring this American railroad hero who died saving hundreds of his passengers' lives. And if you don't know much about the story of Casey Jones, he was on a run from Memphis to Canton, Mississippi, back in April of 1900, pulling six cars full of passengers. Casey was always on time, but this evening he was late, traveling just as fast as his old steam engine would take him. With less than 20 miles to go, and almost back on schedule, Casey saw the worst possible sight an engineer could see on the tracks. On Mississippi. So coming into Vaughn, doing 75, knowing he's going on through, he and his firemen spot a red light on that caboose, which signals to them there is something on the main line. There's no one who tells Casey's heroic story better than museum historian and author Norma Taylor, as she takes us back in time to that fateful night when Casey met his demise. I think he was the kind of man who instinctively did everything he could do to save everybody that he was responsible for. First, he told Sam to jump. So his fireman jumped. He was fine, shaking up a bit, but he was fine. With one hand, Casey pulled his brake on, did whatever the engineer does to slow his train down, and slowed it from 75 to 35 before he plowed into the back of that stall train. With the other hand, he pulled on the whistle to warn everybody to get out of the way because there were people involved with that other train. His engine turned over and he was killed, but because he had stayed and slowed that engine so much, every passenger car stayed upright on the track. Nobody was killed. There were no serious injuries. Everybody was fine because Casey Jones had stayed with that train and slowed it down. He put, had pulled on the whistle, everybody was out of the way. So Casey died saving everybody on that train. So to honor Casey's memory, a museum with a rather modest beginning in Casey's old house was established in the 1950s. This is when Jackson's leadership began to recognize their hometown legend with style. But they didn't stop here. Two years ago, a grant was given to uh, the city of Jackson to add to the museum. So we have our wonderful new building now, and we have expanded. Uh, we have lots of exhibits, and uh, we can accommodate so many more people, visitors from everywhere. 
and we are very proud of our new facility here, which honors Casey Jones and all the railroad workers that did so much to make our country what it actually became, an, an industrial country. And not just anyone who's demonstrated the ultimate act of courage has a song written about them. Now, Casey Jones not only has his own museum, but a ballad as well. We're one hour late with the Southern Mail. He turned to see him and then... That was a common occurrence during that era that engineers would die saving their passengers or their freight or their trains. Now, what made Casey different is that after he died, a song was written about him. Orders in his hand, Casey Jones, mounted to the cabin, took a farewell trip to the promised land. Uh, African American Wallace Saunders wrote a song. And that song was being sung up and down Write the Illinois Central about line that Casey was man. working for at the time that he died. And uh, vaudeville people picked it up, and then copywriters picked that song up, and the song went all over the world. So Casey died a hero, but the song made him a famous hero. So because of that song, he was known all over the world. In addition to the extensive display of Casey there. Jones I didn't know that. Here's an African American who worked on the railroads writing a song about with a movie this about man Casey life. Jones There's and how brave he was. With unique items of all you see, that's the kind of stuff that kids in school should know about. The relationship there you go. Norma's mm -hmm. husband, mm -hmm. Lawrence, is the museum's White director. White colored people. You'll find them all around the So much better space, than what sure the history books. Everyone books. enjoys their visits. You know, well, how do you portray? Like this. You know? And it's wonderful. You so say I they hope you enjoyed that. They watches to the time Casey came rolling through their towns. Now, in addition to hundreds of historical items about his life, guests can actually see the timepiece that kept him on schedule. It's the one he carried the night of the train. Wow. People have heard the name Casey Jones. Most people are not aware that he was a real person, so they're shocked. They say, you mean he was a real person? They think he was just a fictional character. <laughs> and his wife was just a story. John Henry was so, real, too. First of all, they find out he was a real person. He lived right here in Jackson. Now, I've tried this. This is my second. I tried the first one here. It's almost gone. Got a little bit left. And this is my other one. Now, um, Piper and Zagar sent it to me. Because, um, I'm constantly buying with them, and I guess I want it or something. And I tried it. It is a wonderful aromatic. It's not going to blow your socks out. It's one of those smokes you could smoke all day. It's got a sweet note, vanilla note. It's pleasant. And you know what? This story about Casey Jones makes it even better. That a pipe company would choose to honor an American legend. Well, that's it for now. This is State of the Piper Man, Pipe of the Sailor Man. Go try it. Casey Jones, railroad engineer and American legend.